What up everybody, Nero the Hero here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Fortnite. I've been playing the new game mode, and I have some thoughts. Before I get started, I just wanted to say thanks for clicking on the video, and I'm sorry for the lack of content. I've been going through quite a bit of stuff lately, and I just, well, I just haven't really been in the content creation sort of mode. Well, I take that back. I have been, but I've just been creating content for Charge Shot, the YouTube channel. I've actually been making some Fortnite videos, so go ahead and check those out. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. And it's kind of like a guide series, sort of, where I kind of just talk about the stuff that I've learned about the game, things that just things that I pick up, and I just share them with you guys. Today, though, I'm here to talk about Battle Royale, the new game mode that has been added to Fortnite. Now. I'm not going to lie to you guys, when I first heard about this game mode, I was really, really skeptical about it. I thought that it was just a way for Epic trying to pad their player base numbers by taking a game mode that PUBG has been, you know, taking off with as far as popularity. And yeah, that, that, that's essentially what it sounded like to me, like they were just kind of copying PUBG. Aside from that, there's also the fact that it's a PvP mode, which was kind of crazy to me because I always thought Fortnite was meant to be a PvE game or player versus environment. Then I thought a little bit more about it and well, this is Epic Games we're talking about. These guys do PvP, that's like what they do. I mean, Unreal Tournament 99, 2004, just Unreal Tournament in general. So that and they created the Unreal Engine. So how bad could it possibly be, right? So I decided to jump into a match with an open mind and an open heart and well, I actually really like this mode. First of all, performance-wise, this thing runs smooth as butter. I mean, I'm talking 60 frames a second the whole time, and I didn't really get any performance hiccups at all. Whereas with PUBG, I still get 5 to 10 FPS drops. Usually it's at the worst time, too. So, especially when you're talking about a competitive type of game, frame drops and performance issues are the kind of things that can really mess up your performance. So just the fact that it runs so smoothly just right off the bat, kind of cool. I liked that. I was kind of worried how the mechanics of the game would translate over into the PvP. However, I mean, they're shooting mechanics and, you know, the Unreal Engine was essentially made for this kind of stuff, competitive shooting games and whatnot. They're, I mean, look at all the games out there that, you know, are on the Unreal Engine that are shooters. So I'm not really sure why I was concerned about that. It, to be honest with you, I think I was just looking for things to be worried about. I feel like it's more commonplace nowadays in the gaming industry for developers to just essentially copy and paste what other developers are doing in hopes that they'll get some of the success that they've gotten. However, again, this is Epic Games we're talking about. This, these kind of modes are, it's kind of what they do. So after running around the map for a while, I realized that the damage output of the weapons, which was another concern of mine, I was worried that the, the uh, balance of the, the weapon damage would be off, but it seemed to be pretty balanced, to be honest with you. Every time I died, it was because of, well, me, something dumb that I did, whether it was taking a shot too soon or running out in the open. One thing that I really still need to get my head wrapped around is the fact that you have a last man standing type of mode, but you also have the building from Fortnite. That's right, you can actually build forts and stuff. You can construct bases and provide cover for yourself. Other players can do damage to the structures you build, but that kind of adds another layer to the game. I mean, I mean, it's really interesting. You can be running out into a field and you see somebody, you see somebody, you take a shot at them, throw down some cover, and then boom, there it is, there you go. And, you know, as long as you have the materials, you essentially have cover. So the whole kind of, you have cover wherever you go, as long as you have the materials kind of aspect, I think it's really cool. And just the fact that they have building in there to begin with, at first, I thought they weren't going to include the building. I was like, well, they're probably just going to have you jump into a map and just shoot at each other, all crazy kinds. But turns out that, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just what they've come up with it seems to really work as far as the building and everything. You know, damage uh, that players do to other players' structures, it's pretty, it seems pretty balanced. You can, you know, you can't really knock anything down rapidly, but, you know, with enough shots and dedication, you definitely can. However, with the scarcity of ammo, you're probably going to be wanting to conserve your ammo. Much like Player Unknowns, there is a blue force field closing in on the battlefield, and anyone caught outside of it will suffer an untimely death eventually. 
I'm not sure as to the damage output of this force field because I never found myself getting caught in it. <laughs> I had, it came close at one point. It was towards the end, right before I died. I was actually trying to wade through a lake and it's funny because your your movement speed is like one eighth of what it normally is when you're walking through water. So I was like kind of panicking a little bit as this blue force field was like chasing behind me, but I was able to get out of harm's way. All in all, it seems like a pretty decent mode. And anybody who's you know who's not into player unknowns or anybody who's got a founders pack for Fortnite or anybody who is interested in Fortnite, but not so much because it didn't have PvP. Hopefully, if this mode sticks, then they'll just flesh it out some more. I, this mode, it's not complete yet. It definitely needs some work. So I'm wondering what they're actually going to add to the game. It would be kind of neat if they were to add, you know, some mechanics that actually weren't in the PvE mode, uh, one of which is actually you're able to crouch in the PvP mode. So that's interesting. I would like to be able to see maybe, you know, jumping over walls and stuff, you know, knocking down doors, who knows? I, I'm not even sure what those guys at Epic are dreaming up over there, but hopefully it's something good. I guess I wanted to make this video because the moral of the story is don't necessarily judge a game by its game mode. Is that even a saying? It probably isn't, but whatever. I, I just, it's a saying now because I, I said it. Just because, you know, one developer copies one game mode from another developer doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing, you know? Game modes are just that, they're game modes. It's a, it's just different set of rules that you apply to the game that you develop. So, I'm curious to see how this goes. And to be honest with you, it's kind of nice to see something other than player unknowns with a battle royale type of mode that, you know, is actually pretty good. I haven't played much of H1Z1, by not much, I mean none, <laughs> so I'm not sure how it compares to that mode, however, I think I think they got something here. I think they got something here, and I think if they keep working on it, and especially, you know, what they could do, Epic, if you guys are listening, Epic, if you guys are listening, hey, it's me, Nearly Hero, I'm a big fan, I love the Unreal Engine, I love everything you do. Don't put any microtransactions in this game. Don't put any microtransactions into this game. Make this mode completely and utterly free, like you did with Unreal Tournament, the new Unreal Tournament. Phenomenal game, you guys made it free. Great. This game mode, I think you should just not, just don't do the loot llamas, don't do any of that stuff. I think each player at the end of the match should accumulate some kind of points or something like that, which you can use to get loot llamas which will give you cosmetic stuff. Cause I mean, what else are you gonna get from Loot Llamas? <laughs> I mean, if you are going to put Loot Llamas into the game, do it that way. Cause if you do it any other way, it's not gonna work. <laughs> That's gonna do it for this one, you guys. I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts and ramble on for eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes, however long this ends up being. Uh, about the new game mode and that's pretty much it. So I'll leave a link to charge shot in the description below So you guys can check out some of the other content that we all create together because we're a cool bunch of people and you should really just go check us out <laughs> And that's all there is to it Thanks again for checking out the video everybody and until next time take care of yourselves and each other Do something heroic today and demand something better in gaming always. This is Nero the Hero signing out. Peace